Find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B in the given resistor network. To solve this problem, we need to simplify the resistor network by combining resistors that are connected in series or parallel step by step until we're left with a single equivalent resistance, R equivalent, between points A and B. Why do we do this? Well, reducing a complex circuit into a single equivalent resistor helps us analyze voltage, current, and power more easily. And here's the key. That final resistor must behave exactly like the original network in terms of how it responds to current and voltage at the terminals. So the strategy is simple. Look for series and parallel resistor combinations and simplify them one at a time. Let's start analyzing the circuit. First, let's look for any resistors in series. Right away, we can see that the 1 ohm and 5 ohm resistors are connected end to end with no branching in between. That means they're in series and we can simply add their values. 1 plus 5 equals 6 ohms. So we replace the 1 ohm and 5 ohm resistors with a single 6 ohm resistor. This simplifies the circuit just a bit and gets us one step closer to the equivalent resistance between points A and B. Now let's take another look at what we've got. At this stage, we don't see any more resistors in series, but look closely and you'll spot a new opportunity. The 6 ohm resistor is now in parallel with a 3 ohm resistor. Time to switch gears and use the reciprocal rule for parallel resistors. That simplifies to an equivalent resistance of 2 ohms. Nice and neat, we can now swap out both the 6 ohm and 3 ohm resistors for a single 2 ohm resistor. Let's redraw the circuit again. See how much simpler it's becoming with every step. Now we're back to a simple case. Two resistors in series, both 2 ohms. Adding them is straightforward. 2 plus 2 equals 4 ohms. So we replace those two resistors with a single 4 ohm resistor. Let's redraw the circuit once again. It's really starting to slim down now. At this point, there are no more resistors in series, but we do have another parallel combination. The 4 ohm resistor we just found is now in parallel with a 6 ohm resistor. Time to calculate their equivalent resistance using the reciprocal formula. That gives us 2.4 ohms. So we replace the 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistors with a single 2.4 ohm resistor. Let's redraw the circuit again. Just a one more steps to go. Now our circuit is down to just three resistors, all connected in series, 4 ohms, 2.4 ohms, and 8 ohms. Since they're in series, we just add them up. 4 plus 2.4 plus 8 equals 14.4 ohms. And there it is, the total equivalent resistance between terminals A and B is 14.4 ohms. So, even though this circuit looked complex at first, the key is to take it one step at a time. Identify series and parallel parts, simplify gradually, and before you know it, you're done. Our final equivalent resistance is 14.4 ohms. That means we can replace the entire resistor network with a single 14.4 ohm resistor and get the exact same electrical behavior between terminals A and B. And if you don't happen to have a 14.4 ohm resistor lying around, no worries. You can build the same network and it'll work just the same. Thanks for watching and remember, circuits always get simpler, one connection at a time.